I would diss again. Dare that chip again. It's magnificent. This ambivalence. My beat they give to him. Spirit singing hymns. Flesh is seeking skins. Bring them violins. This game nobody wins. Giving it to everything. I'm that villain. I ransack your village. Get my millions up. See you living. My skin turned vermilion. Look, my pick is up. Corrupted mission. Headed to perdition. Meaning. Hey, now we'll at least stop the clock again with 30 seconds here. But yeah, this just isn't a great situation to be in. You're already down four lives. At least you have two ticks of progression over towards B. So if they are able to complete this one over at A right now, it makes it a little bit easier because all you'll need realistically is one break at B. Yep. Or so good now. And the life advantage has been cut down quite a bit. Zane and Locke combined two to push their aggression a little bit farther but if you're longhorn like you say you just need one good grow but look at player number six chung over has no idea i feel like that communication should have been there knowing that they're spawning out and yeah look at this all three players now looking for for chung over in the back or sorry looking for sipe in the back and they're not going to find him at all so they're just going to make their choice and say hey you know what let's just make the full push on through the flank and try to make a big break into basketball here but they get rid of velocity. That's a big dent into this attack. You're gonna need to play it get perfect break here. You got lock set up in the be the bedroom. Zane taking over basketball courts, and you look at this setup that Texas Tech has. It almost looks impenetrable. And you only have eight life left as well if you're on orange here. So whatever they need to do, whatever they decide to do, they need to make sure it's a decisive round that they're going to put on for themselves here. Already losing two more lives out, and still Texas Tech yet to lose anybody here. And yeah, this this round is just getting away now from the side of Longhorn Orange. Uh, they're running away with it. Finally, somebody dies. It's Sipe inside the bedroom. That should have been prog a progression some number one. Storm's the next one up, pushed all the way to the chairs. And there's 12 seconds to where work with two lives. There's no way that they take this round whatsoever. You're going to walk in. Zane's going to crush your dreams. And Velocity, last alive, he is going to be surrounded from every route that you could ask for. 1-0 from Texas Tech. The impenetrable B setup that we saw so uh, successful so often. And as soon as you control both bedroom and basketball courts, it's hard to break the site. I mean, we say it all the time. You, you need to make sure, step number one, if you're trying to break from bedroom onto that site, Step number one is clearing out your bedroom, and they didn't do it one time in that in that round. They just kept trying to make the progression and forcing it through kitchen in towards the back spawn. And unluckily for them as well, even if they're pushing it back in towards jungle there, everybody on Texas Tech just kept spawning up basketball and being able to reinforce over and over again. It just made it so much harder. And then already the life disadvantage that they were at because off the rip of that round, Texas Tech just had a beautiful break off. It just makes it really, really tough to win that round there. Ooh. Break. Even right now, Sipe's gonna find the difference maker to get them on this A site. Put a tick away, it looks like, but rotation for Spartan he is gonna relinquish the pressure onto the site. Now, Sipe alone could play spoiler up here. Hops into the laundry, finds one. Can he find a second one? Mickey around the corner, not gonna take it at all. So, that is gonna be a good setup now for Longhorn. They're gonna get a give away a tick at A, but they're just waiting for the pressure back in. Waiting for number four to pinch is gonna be really important as soon as he gets in the strike. Must be immediate. Chung over. Finds the shots. Takes down Zane. Are you going to be ready for the player on the right? It doesn't matter. Your team is going to push in. Mickey cleans up Sipe and you clean up house with the rest of it. This actually opens up the chance for Texas Tech to make the rotation over to B. There's not enough players over here right now for the side of Longhorn Orange. And everybody on the side of Texas Tech is coming through the middle of the map. They're trying to reinforce. It's luckily for Longhorn Orange, they are going to get those close spawns towards the B side. So they can also reinforce quite quickly over towards this next hill. Yes, they can. Check over. Another one bites the dust to break. And good so far. Oh, Chung over. Longhorn just took over. Three in a row for Chung over. Going back to A. And Mickey is set up here on the power position. Almost snapping to sight. But good opportunity now to break on in if you're Texas Tech. You got to get through this next AR. It is going to be Spartan set up. Sight's going to take him down. But he's all alone here. We're getting this last tick. You need a teammate now. That teammate's going to be Storms. Big kill right there. Big second one from Sipe as well. Mickey's going to be off it. That's the A site gone. And add a minute to the clock. That's not only the A site gone, but that's also three down. So, I mean, Longhorn Orange, they have every chance in the world to be able to push forward and try to get on into the sill. 
And not only that, they also have an artillery strike as well to try to break on in. So, I mean, this this break could absolutely be huge if they use this streak the right way. Another one. Another two from that nine lives even. Velocity, shaky shots, but he comes away with the kill. That's a big one, too, to take away the players from your back line. Hopping towards B. We go, Mickey, another one. Three down now for Texas Tech. They're going to have to work on back into this and work one step at a time. I like the idea to go for mid, but not enough bodies there to put the pressure in. Storm's trying to go big. 1v1 off that screen. Right now, I mean, Texas Tech, they have slowed down. They have no respawn, so they really need to value their lives and push as a team. Spartan's going to find Zane. Kitchen's controlled by Chung over. You find those two kills, but the collapse is going to come in. Longhorn Orange are looking for a defensive round of their own. And with Sight Blast alive, it looks like we're headed even. Absolutely looks like that way. Unless he's going to 1v6 here with only 8 seconds left, it's going to be very tough and not at all doable there. As Longhorn Orange, they will answer back, like you said, 1-1 one to one now here in this series. And... I mean, that was just a great defense. We've seen two really solid defenses, but I mean, I, I even would say that that defense looked maybe even a little bit stronger than the first defense that we saw from the side of Texas Tech. It's interesting. I mean, since the start, we had three restarts on Garrison, but every single map I've seen from these two have been so neck and neck. One play determines it all in every round that I've seen. Search, yeah. destroy, control, hard point. Yeah, you're absolutely right with that. It really does feel like one play individually can really swing the tide of any round between these two teams here. They're very, very evenly matched. And already onto the A site will be the side of Longhorn Orange. They're trying to get the progression in very quickly here before they want to rotate over towards B. Storms. Trying to get in to find a few kills, but it's not going to happen. It's going to be Zane to find two. He's going to be cleaned up. You look at your minimap. You can see player number six is in behind. That is Sype. Can he take these players off? He can. Second take's going to go through, but they collapse into it. And I'm sure Mickey should fall eventually. But look at your mini-map again, just like this. As soon as Mickey gets taken down here, they got to look to B. But Mickey is doing a lot to stay alive, wasting so much time and giving his team an opening. Giving his team an opening at B. That zone tag, and you're not wrong at all. Huge play there from him just to stay alive. Allows the rest of his team to hop on towards this B site. And actually, Chung over wins a huge one on one there. So he can actually oh. cap this out by himself unless Storms has anything to say about it. But no, no Chung over comes away with the win. And now, I mean, if you're Longhorn Orange, you just got to put full progression and full focus onto A. You've got a, what, a four life Ooh. deficit, but you've got two minutes to try to break onto this. You've got 19 lives left, more than enough time in lives. Oh, look! Oh, I thought he was going to come up with the, the streaks there. Big kill on the Chung Hover absolutely worked him, but not able to find the score streak. One tick at A. Looking at Longhorn. Need them to play a lot more patient than they are. They're pushing into a lot of 1v1s. Velocities, though. This. Like them to wait for him to strike, but instead they're thinking so many gunfights, so many unnecessary early gunfights that Texas Tech are going to be way more comfortable in and holding on to. With these kills, it looks like Texas Tech are spawning in basketball court. So you got to go. You got to go now if you're Longhorn. A good opportunity to hop on the site. Spartan's going to be looking to put that progression through. You have the backup. You have the angle set up. And Longhorn, a very comfortable take to A. Well, as soon as they take three down with Velocity pushing in the laundry, you had all players spawning inside basketball court. And that's just, that's enough. That's enough to give you the A site. Yeah. And, I mean, as much as of a nice hold as it was for Texas Tech to stop them over at B, you just can't let them get that much time on A right after. That's the big thing, right? Because if you allow them to get that much time on A, this is exactly what happens. N not at any point in that round did it really feel like the clock was ever consistently going for a good amount of time. Once they capped it, once they capped uh, B, it gave them a full two minutes and ten seconds to get one tick onto A. Definitely not the situation that you want to be in if you're Texas Tech. I mean, they probably would have much rather tried to hold that over towards B, but now they need to answer back to an offensive win of their own here. And, I mean, that's a rough start. Velocity's just ripping you off a head glitch like that. It's a hard ask, but, I mean, these two teams, they've been so close with each other. I, I can see Texas Tech taking this. Sending us to a round five. Time will tell, Zane. Big one-on-one -on -one win. Let's get collapsed on by Chung over. His teammates are going to pick up where he left off, and Storm's... It's in for a second, but only that at all. Texas Tech struggling to get anything going. Getting onto the site. Seems like a 
tall order for them, but finally a break. Got Storms in behind, finds one, finds two! On to Spartan as well. Big snap right there. Hop on the site. They need to stack this. They can cap A if they clean up Mickey. And they are. Locke's going to track him down. That should be the A site gone. They're not stacking it, though. They still only have the one player on the site. They will get the second ticket progression at the very least here. But I think the thought process here from Texas Tech is, hey, you know what? We don't fully need to stack this. They will finally put a second player on as he comes off the spawn now. But their, their thought process there was they wanted to take control of the jungle side of the map. And they're actually winning a lot of gunfights out here. So they can push all the way up. As those players spawn, though, you need to be expecting them here inside of basketball. And because you have player number two over in AC, spawns from Texas Tech are going to be at driveway. They have to work all the way around this map. And I'm sure that Ed Longhorn know this, that the position that they're taking. You are going to see the setup inside Boston, of course, waiting for the push to come down these stairs. Barnes going to be pushing the aggression, though. He's going to try to take this one-on-one -on -one head on, and he's going to misinterpret it where that player is. Doesn't matter because he got back up three down for Texas Tech. What a play from Longhorn. Oh, big one from Longhorn. You look, in at 23, Cruz. They what do. are you looking at for Texas Tech right now? I mean, they do have the life lead, but again, it's Mickey. You got to get Mickey out of that powerful position that he's in right now inside a bedroom. You can't allow that player to just live rent free up there. Because if you do, what happens is is even once you get some progression onto B, this player can still make the quick rotation over and shut you down from behind. And watch, as soon as Zane gets in, Mickey drops him in from behind. He is step number one. It's always step number one. Clear out your bedroom. Then you can progress up the map. I don't want to see him up there for too long. Because even with Mickey there, I mean, you're spawning backside garage in the bottom right corner. Now, you have a long run back to this. He's in the perfect spot. He is just spawning them out and keeping them at bay this entire time here. Well, looks like they don't want to take him out here. They're going to be working the back line. Got to get through Chung over. Shots are good. Zane's going to clear him out. The trades. Now Spartan up next, but he's going to win a big two-piece there. What a snapper over to Scythe. And, and you four. can look at the rest of them. Four go down again. You got seven lives to eight. As now Longhorn. One life lead. But Storms, that's a big one. Can they get this break? One big break. We're giving this hill. No response remaining for the side of Longhorn Orange. Velocity's going to find sight, but he's going to work this flank because he is going to be such a key player getting right back into this. You're going to see the snack on it. He's getting capped fast. Mickey through Garden slides on out. Finds Zane. The collapse is on Velocity. Another one bites the dust. No response for either side. And this break is so good for Longhorn. They want to put it away in four. They want to take this control right now. And with three seconds left, they just might. Finally, another condition out. No time left. Zane last alive. 1v2. Like a search and destroy for the collapse on him. The, the crossfire is good. And that's going to be Longhorn Orange taking the swing map, taking the control, moving up in the series. Oh, there's just so many little little mistakes in that game there that I feel just accumulate to a, to a Longhorn Orange win there for themselves. Unfortunately for the side of Texas Tech, it's just, it's a lot, especially in that last round there. We were kind of hinting at it in that round. They needed to get rid of Mickey. You couldn't let that player just keep, keep living in that top bedroom. And we called it too. They made the full push over towards the back full four man they had a life lead too that was the best part is they have the life lead they have every chance in the world to win that round they make the push in through the back they get three wiped and guess who was there as the fourth player just to wipe them down mickey made the full rotation back he finds the last kill and then what happens they all come off spawn and he's right back in that top bedroom spot you got to clear that player out of bedroom first if you want to be able to win those rounds and it's those small little things that win you rounds of control and it's just something you don't want to deal with when you get into the B-side alone. If Mickey was in that bedroom and you do wipe those players in the back line and he didn't move to that, I mean, you get onto the site, Mickey finds one, maybe two, then you're slow progressing or you're, you're getting slow progress towards that site. It's just not the situation that you want to be in when you're attacking the B-side as well. So I think it was very misinterpreted play for Texas Tech trying to go for the back line instead of taking, uh, taking their... Um, taking their task towards that bedroom first. So that's going to be a big map win for Longhorn Orange, taking map one and map three. So both respawns so far have gone the way of Longhorn Orange. You're moving into raid hard point for this map number four. And towards the end of that garrison hard point, you saw that Texas Tech, they were picking up the pace. They were looking a lot better than the start of it as well. It was a close one. Do you think that they have competition here? Do you think that Texas Tech can do this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think Texas Tech 
they have the ability to win this rate hard point. I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't. The first game was only a 40 point game and kind of like what we hinted at, if they use those streaks at the end of the game and break P2 before they all push in and kind of fall and don't give themselves a chance to break the hill, they probably break it and they have a good chance of being able to win that first map. So, I mean, if they can play, they win their rotations, they lock down spawns. I don't see why they can't take out and pick up this raid hard point. See at all, but raid hard point. We're gonna head to a break when we come back. Map number four. Stay tuned, everybody, because Longhorn Orange want to put this away in four. You're looking at Texas Tech, your fan there, waving your flag. You gotta be rooting for that standoff at the end of the line. Stay tuned to find out where are we headed next. Oh, did you guys miss us? I didn't want to be gone for too, too long because you know you had another raid to go through. The triple dose ends here. It's Texas Tech and Longhorn Orange going into this map number four hard point. If you're looking at Texas Tech, they want to force standoff for map five to stay alive in this winner's bracket. However, Longhorn Orange, it's been a long series. I'm sure they're looking to put it away in four. I mean, already off to a great spot here too. Getting a good amount of time here on hill number one. Velocity is doing a great job of just kind of watching over his boys inside the hill. And you still have Mickey who's going huge. He's been really big all day for them in all honesty here. And Velocity, he'll win that last one. But actually the break through the back, I was not even paying attention. But all four players now on Texas Tech, they'll get spawned up. And the break comes on through. A beautiful flip out there from Texas. Storms. I ain't doing the damage. You get the time. If you're Longhorn Orange, but now it's the rotations that you need to focus on. Big win there at the poolside for Mickey. Can he stay alive though and take out Sype as well? He's going to put the stun down, force him off the position. A full flank coming out from Longhorn. He's looking up attack from the backside. And Mickey, another one to the chopping block. Two down on either side. Looking to get back into it. Chunga over right through the front door. But said, it is going to be Storms finding that. Spartan's going to clear off this hill. Can he find another one with the remaining bullets he has? No, he can't. Shot punch from Zane. Texas Tech just trying to hold on, and they do. And the, and they have the preferred spawns now at this point of the hard point as well. You want to have Longhorn Orange spawning up on that left side. So, uh, I mean, definitely not the worst kid thing to happen for them there to maybe get broken right off the rip, lose the spawns, but keep on to the, uh, keep on to the hill. It's exactly what they do. They do end up getting broken in towards the end. So the final 10 seconds, they will go to the side of Longhorn Orange and actually the full wrap from Longhorn Orange. As soon as they get those kills, they make the push all the way across the map. They've got them now spawning on that left-hand side, but it's only one player left here now for Longhorn Orange. It's just hung over. He finds one. Needs the second as well. He'll find both Ooh. through the back. So the break and the push on through from Longhorn Orange is good. Oh, I tried to do the thing. Didn't do it again, but lock. Got him down. Taking a look at trip to the wild side now. Over into garage. Strong positions for every team when you do get that set up. Easy sight is just trying to play spoiler inside art and spawn these players out. The flood's coming on through, and every single player that feeds on and Zane's gonna be putting them down. He got sight on the flank to through driveway. He still have Chung over inside this weight room, but not much that he can do. As soon as he gets onto it, he's gonna take the fight. Win against Lock Attach for the moment. I'm sure that these players are going to come clean him up. So the remainder 20 seconds are going to be going the way of Texas Tech. And you see already focusing on the response or the rotation is going to be Longhorn. And this is going to be a hill that they need to hold on to with the way that Texas Tech was just able to hold on to that garage hill. You thought that the break was going to be coming through right off the rip, but it was Locke that goes huge and finds two on the rotation as well. He just basically answers the two piece that we saw from the likes of Chung over. But now, once again, Longhorn Orange on that full setup over here and it's mickey again with the submachine gun through money he's got all the importance of the job in the world and he's doing the thing he's stopping them from the top but uh, it does not matter though because the rest of texas tech they all win their gunfights towards the left hand side and they're able to break on in beautiful break once again from texas tech right into it three five seconds pick up here spartan fights two Big kills now. The flood through the front. All three players for the side of Longhorn. One is going to take a detour. You do have the reinforcements from Storms here. You're going to take down Chung over, but you can't take down Mickey. Big 1v1 here from Zane. Can he win it for the time? He has teammates behind him, but he can't take down Mickey just yet. He's going to stay alive in here. Can he find another one? He cannot. Sipes going to be the one to put him down. 11 seconds of scrap time. Longhorn. They have to be careful not to fall too far behind. Texas Tech, they look really good right now in this raid hard point. They're really controlling the pace very well here. They just need to try to find a way to break into some of these hills, and a, they'll throw a nade for a nade there. Storm is able to find one onto Mickey there, but Mickey's nade wasn't able to close him off. 
And I mean, again, just it's Texas Tech. They're early inside the hill. They get these first 15 seconds, and it, that's before Longhorn Orange can even contest for the first time here. Mickey will find the two, but it's just not what they want to do right now. And if you're Longhorn Orange here, yeah, they, they finally get the break, but you got to hope that you can hold on to these last 30 seconds here so that you at least go into this next set of rotations only down 20. It'd be big. Sype almost falling inside kitchen, but not going to be the case just yet. Still 18 seconds left. Big shots from Spartan right there. Retreat for Spartan and Mickey. Got Chung over locking down Ring. This is a big setup right now for Longhorn Orange if they can connect from Hills 5 and Hill 1. Chung over. He's going to sniff out. That's a big win now for Texas Tech. They hop over. Let's see if they can set up now and take their lead even farther. 131 to 98 in the first set of rotations. Mickey coming in behind. Playing spoiler. Takes out a big one on that time. And you know, you can give up these spawns for a bit. You have a split from uh, the side of Texas Tech, but it's on Longhorn in the kill feed. I'm sure they should notice that the, the flood's going to be coming through driveway. Let's not forget that this is where Longhorn Orange was by far the most successful in our first set of rotations was on this first hill. They got 30 seconds, unfortunately for them, got broken very late into the end of the first of the first hill the, on our first set of rotations. But imagine how different this game could be if they held on to those hills. It probably could, would have been around a 100-point lead for the side of Longhorn Orange if they don't get broken immediately onto kitchen as soon as that hill pops so we'll see what they can do they need to do a better job in this set of rotations of holding onto hills it was hills two and four that both times they were set up early they get broken early they need a better job here well let's see how this develops velocity on this tree somebody slipped through jungle that's gonna be sight way big win now onto mickey in the back line it forces velocity to take himself off that power angle and watch his back he's gonna hop back up storm's ready for him locks gonna put him through next up is gonna be spartan stretching those shots down range Chung over to clean them one. It's going to be Longhorn Orange to hold on. Be Look at these spawns. They're going to be able to reinforce this, reinforce this right away if you're Texas Tech. Lock. Looking to force Mickey out here. They know they're there. You get the spawn out for Texas Tech. Now let's see if you can clean up the last couple of players. If you're Longhorn, not able to take down Zane. Three go down the breaks out. Spartan to fall. That's going to be Texas Tech. Another break with 30 seconds left. Yeah, that's an important 30 seconds, too. And, and Longhorn Orange is out of there. They don't even want to re-challenge this one more time. They want to try to get this full setup here for basketball. But they just need to be very careful, though. If they fall inside of on this rotation here, if they fall on this rotation here, this is when they can absolutely get spawned back over towards that old hill and Texas Tech can take full advantage of it. some trouble getting back to the scoreboard it's kind of funny but we got 187 to 153 velocities inside this hill you got spartan to back them up last time texas tech was an iron wall to break on through this time around site finds the opening can they clear out spartan inside this corner for weight room he's gonna peek on out with velocities help they're gonna take down zane so far, so good. You got the break from Sype. Now inside the hill, he takes down Spartan. Can he find another one? He doesn't need to. This is going to be locked to help him through. Chung over into the hill, but he's going to fall now. Break again from Texas Tech every single time. You see it. You see Longhorn Gate Orange set up. Cruz, you're right. The breaks just look so smooth from Texas Tech. Velocities. I mean, he could have just laid down there and contested inside that hill. But instead, he just runs right out. He could have had the contest maybe towards those back 20 seconds there. But instead, it's going to be Longhorn Orange again with the scrap time here. And if they just keep doing this, where they break on into the hill with 30 seconds left and keep getting the scrap time and keep getting the scrap time, it's just going to put the game away eventually because they're doing such a good job of contesting it early on and then breaking later into the hill. This right here, I mean, if you're Longhorn Orange, you need a good hold here just to, just to really give yourself a chance to win this game at this point. To do. Look at the back line now. Texas Tech looking to flood on in from behind through jungle. They clear out. Chung over. And they're putting pressure on a Spartan too. They find another one. The Katesh is going to be in. Spartan has to be careful. He's got 5 HP. Now down to 0. The break again. 26 seconds of scrap time, you could call it. Because you have, if you're Longhorn, you can just set this one. You have to set up for this next one. There's no chance they're going to break this again. And that's another back 15 that goes to the side of Texas Tech. They're going to be sitting at right around 240 seconds, probably around 10 seconds of closing this game out here. And you're not wrong at all. You absolutely need to make a good hold here if you're Longhorn Orange. Longhorn Orange technically can win on this hill with a perfect hold. It's just going to be very, very tough to get that perfect hold without what we've seen Texas Tech breaking through today. But if anybody's going to do it, 
It's gonna be Longhorn. But if not, we're going to long haul. We're cashing into that game number five, baby. Over to standoff. Zane now leading the charge through pillars. You got three players there. They take the player off the hill. You have to reinforce it, but Locke is cutting you off. Spartan now down and out. Seven seconds left for Texas Tech to send us to a map five. Ha Chung over trying to get into the mix, but he's not able to touch on down. Cruz, cash your ticket. We're heading all the way to game five. It, it doesn't seem to matter what it is, whether it's a grand final or what. Whenever me and you cast together and we know it's our last series of the day, what happens? We always get a best of five. It just always seems to, do. It just always seems to happen like that. We shouldn't have expected anything less. I mean, I'm really excited to look at that standoff search and destroy coming up next. But I mean, just this hard point here. You gotta think, man. How many times did Longhorn Orange have a setup ready to go? And they just got broken so quickly over and over again. They could not hold on to it. You're counting, eh? How many was it? I, I don't think I, I, I think I think I, I lost count too too many, game. but too, too many, many times. Sure. That's that's the thing. Too, way too many times for that to be a thing. I mean, Texas Tech were lights out on raid. I had that feeling, too. When we were looking at Garrison going into that, I mean, Texas Tech, they had the ice towards the end of Garrison. They were breaking hills. They were locking it down. And I felt like that was just the start of, of whatever we're going to see. They're almost identical hard points, the, uh, but both ways. 250 to 212 on Garrison to Longhorn. 250 to 216 uh, for, for the side of Texas Tech to send us into that, uh, that number five. It's a big map to win. A lot of swing going your way. A lot of momentum going your way because you got standoff off next. You won the raid search and destroy. And heading over to this, do you see any differences for this squad? Is this, is this something that you might think Longhorn has the advantage going into? I wouldn't necessarily say the advantage, but I think they definitely have a chance to be able to win this one out still. I think raid and standoff search and destroy, kind of like I was hinting to at the start of the series, however long ago that might have been, uh, it was a... <laughs> I mean, you're looking at these two maps. Let's really think about it here. Raid is a much faster pace search and destroy map than the site than the likes of standoff. Standoff, you're going to be sitting back. You're going to be trying to find those early picks, and I think that's something that Longhorn Orange might be able to do just a little bit better than the likes of Texas Tech. They'll just need to really just kind of play their own pacing. You don't want to give too much too fast to Texas Tech, and also you just don't want to let them run away with it because if you do, that's when Texas. We saw it in that first game. It was three three. They give them a little bit of momentum. They kind of choked that what round number ten. And that's when tech, or round number 10, round number eight. And that's when Texas Tech really took it and ran away with that game. So much momentum going into this map five for both squads. We're going to head to a quick break. And when we come back, the decider, it has been long. It has been a grind for these teams to get through here. We are going to see the finishing touch over on standoff. Stay tuned to find out here in the CCL Summer Open, powered by EFUSE. But here we go. It's this first round. You already see a player advantage to Texas Tech Cruise. You gotta recover that bomb, but Longhorn struggling to escape. Yeah, it's definitely not a great situation to be in. They are just kind of pinned in this upper right hand side of the map. No matter where they go. Yeah, it just does not seem to matter. They have an angle on every single spot if you're Texas Tech to find these kills. It'll be Sipe once again. Velocities at least will shut him down, but now in a one versus four, you just got to think that this is not a situation you want to be in. This van, very famous for blowing up as well. So, I mean, Velocities, good to dodge those nades out. Storm knows exactly where he is, too. So, he's just feeding the information to his team. You got 28 seconds to make a move. Whatever move you make, you have to take a gunfight on any angle. Pushing into this hotel, lock right around the corner. I'm sure he heard that bomb get picked up. Right out he goes, and Locke ready to shut him down. Texas Tech take round number one here in our map five, and you have to think about that right there. I mean, coming off the hard point, they were right, right on their tails, and they're was, not slowing down. Yeah, it was the first blood as well through the middle of hotel as well. Just the, I think he got double nated outside of that spot that he was in. Just a good team nade from the side of Texas Tech to at least weaken the player. I'm not sure if I saw the second one come through or if it was a gun kill at the very end of it, but... I mean, very clean round there from Texas Tech. I think only one player ends up falling, and that's in sight. And he was just trying to go for the ace at that stage of the round as well. So we'll see what they can do on their own offense for themselves here. But they've already got so much control. Look how fast they take control of the middle of B. And they find first blood as well. I mean, I don't know why the bomb is still all the way back there. You got to move this bomb you down to B because you just have so much of an advantage over there right now. They are flying. 
Velocity. Stock inside Grandma's. Mickey over on B side. The stun's gonna come through. He's gotta be careful. He needs to stay alive. The bomb's getting planted. Velocity's gonna find another one. Bring the numbers a little bit back. But now time's against you. You have to start making your move. And now it's Velocity. Again, 1v3. All the way in the back has literally no map progression at all. And no matter where he goes, there's gonna be a player waiting. You have somebody back towards Delhi, inside hotel, all the way back barn. I mean, they have every angle locked down again. Texas Tech are playing lights out search right now. Not only do they have every angle locked down, they're not giving him a single thing. No. Everybody's just watching one thing, and as soon as they spot him out, they will know where he is. Everybody's just going to throw him shoulders. He does end up winning one on his end. That was kind of a ridiculous gunfight, but nonetheless, Texas Tech, they will close out that round to take up a 2-0 lead here. And it's on the back of this first blood here. Lock pushes all the way through B. Nobody's watching Middle Street, which is just mind-blowing to me as well with how open Middle Street is and the fact that you need to be watching that. You can't let players make their way through for free. Otherwise, exactly that is going to happen to you. Well, what were we seeing in the um, the, the pickup tournament a couple weeks ago? It was somebody with an FFAR just kept on walking down the middle of the street and finding one or two kills. I can't, I can't remember who it was, but it was absolutely mind-blowing. And you see Locke basically doing it right there with the 74U again. Hitting quick over to Hotel. We're going to get down and dirty right in the corners. It's Longhorn. They are going to play it patiently. Wait for the aggression to come to them. Set up some power angles. The nade's going to land on Chung over. But no follow-up to that damage just yet. Yeah, Locke Actually, is feeling... Look at Spartan. Look at Spartan. Locke has no idea. That's going to be first blood. Can they get the trade site? He gets it. They stay even and even storms. They're going to be pushing towards the A site. Chung over looking to find some exit kills with the Diamati. Maybe. Hunt some down. Zane 1v1. Comes down. Gets an idea where Velocity is. This is a big round for Longhorn to win. Zane, though, has the SMG better for these close-range gunfights. Your velocity, you really have to rotate around and find an angle onto this SMG, but I'm sure Zane is just going to be blocking back and forth. You get that trophy system out, checking back around there. That's dangerous. you got to run if you're Zane. Make sure you stay alive and don't throw your back to that Craig. Just throwing as many shoulders as he can. Oh, he sees him. He's running. Velocity, he tries to go for the chase, but he doesn't have time to do this. You gotta get that bomb down. Zane is not giving you anything whatsoever. His only choice is to play the OBJ. And he's good. He'll have more than enough time to get this bomb down, but probably very worriedly because of Zane once again. And I'm oh. actually so surprised that Velocity reads that right and watches that angle. I thought for sure, if that's me in that situation, I'm 100% thinking that player is flanking through the middle of the map. Great awareness from Velocity, though, to be able to read that play out from Zane here. Just from how long it took him to re-challenge that, I thought maybe he might be rapping in my own mind there. That's what I would have been thinking of that situation. But a fantastic awareness there from Velocity to close that out. Absolutely amazing. You ask me. I, I mean, Velocity was making the wrong call by chasing him. He needed to get that bomb down. Zane playing so smart until he pushes into that. I mean, you have to have an idea that maybe that power position could be set up by the AR. But I, I actually what. think Zane needs to attack a little bit earlier there as well. Like once Could you be, yeah. realize, like you got you got to push up and get that down. Like he only had ten seconds to get that bomb down. Realistically, it takes, it takes five to plant. So I mean, maybe you got to make that push a little sooner. Velocity actually is distracting Storm. I don't know if you're going to read that. Mickey's back there. You don't. That's bombed down. So far behind you. Texas Tech. They have to make a play, and nobody's really there to recover the bomb. You have two players watching it. Finally, Locke pushes the aggression into Chung over. You know where Spartan is. They're looking to overwhelm him from behind. Zane loses the gunfight, and no trade just yet. Players from Longhorn Orange all over the place. Spartan finally gets cleaned up, but the damage has been done. You move around 1v1. Mickey spots outside. Shots are going to be there. He knows now exactly where Mickey's going to be standing. Sight. Challenge. Air set up. Mickey in a great position to put that round away. Brings us back to an even 2 on 2. It's looking so much like our first search and destroy. Just trades among trades among trades to bring everybody back moment by moment. Tying us back up at 2 to 2 here. Those two rounds look significantly better from the side of Longhorn Orange than what we saw earlier on in their game. Now we'll just see what they can try to do once again here on offense. I mean, their first two offenses, have, the, honestly, that last offense still even wasn't that great. It was just kind of a clutch moment at the very end. See if they can get a little bit better of an offense going here for themselves. 
And that's a great way to start it. First Bloods have really been deciding to search and destroy. Always does on standoff. Grab from Chung over. Zane, is he going to be ready for this at all? Spots him out. The shots are going to be there. Zane runs away. He's going to be taking a different angle into this gunfight, but he has to be careful because there's a player in Delhi. He could be pinched out here if he's not careful enough. He's going to wrap all the way top grandmas. Maybe hop out from behind and try to get this player out. But number two, Chung over. He is making such a far wrap. Nobody has spotted him at all. And he's going to find Lock in it as well. It's going to disrupt this whole thing. Finally, Chung over gets cleaned up. But you have to imagine his job has been done. Big win from Sype there to keep us at two. Huge win there. And Sype, he will end up falling. But I think that that stopped the bomb plan from going down. Spartan hopped oh, no. off of the bomb. He will get it down just in the nick of time. Gets around the corner as well. Dane, very unfortunate timing there. If he's one second sooner, he stops that bomb from going down and probably closes that round out for his team. That would have been, that would have been huge if Zane could find that that bomb planner. Spartan, maybe let go of his controller. It happens sometimes. Not everybody's perfect, but Velocity was watching over his shoulder. As soon as Zane pushes a little bit too far out for the chase, dead to rights. Three to two now. Longhorn Orange. Really turned one up right behind velocity, eight and three. I mean, it's one of those at... situations too, where you're just not fully trusting in your teammate yet as well to get that kill, and that's why velocity ends up dropping. That they're kind of lucky to close that round out, though, to be honest. Ooh. And Mickey with another first blood—that's two rounds in a row. I think that's three in a row now that Longhorn are finding that first blood. Aside from Mickey, you're right. That's two for Mickey in a row, but. Everything else now. Who storms? How does Mickey see that? This guy fights all over the place. Sype's gonna find the equalizer. Where's that gonna draw the bomb in reaction? They are gonna pull it into hotel. Velocity drops from Zane. And if you're Mickey, you are not gonna see this bomb planner going down. I like this call to move into Delhi. Might be able to shut this one off if he hops over in time. Texas Tech, they have yet. To get onto it, so finally Storm's gonna hop up there. I think he's making the full wrap through hotel. He's gonna find Storm's sight. Hops up, has to stick to this corner. Get player top hotel. Spartan should know this eventually. Zane's just gonna be playing coy. Till that time ticks on low. Is he going to spot this guy? Spartan goes down. Mickey's right next to him. Has to duck on through for his life. Mickey's going to hop the bomb right away. Smart move, though. He can't do that. As soon as the nade hits, the stun to follow. Zane, I don't know if he can actually spot this one. Mickey's going to push in. Zane now knows. 11 seconds left. He has to play the clock. And he can just wait. He can wait it out. Not as going to be around to Texas Tech. There's no way he can get this defuse anymore. Damn, perfectly played there by Zane. Just kept finessing his life, throwing grenades, throwing stuns, just bothering the player on the bomb, trying to get it, the job done there. Zane with the ice in his veins, though, to really be able to close that one out. It's doing such a tight search and destroy. It's very similar to the first one. We're tied 3 3 through the first six, but this is really where Texas Tech took over on that raid search and destroy. We'll see if they can do it once again here for themselves. But I mean, I feel like even more so than that raid, this has been so even back and forth here. Not the first bloods. Storms this time. Takes him down through the elbow. That's a lot of control there. He's going to slip behind Velocity. No clue. Nobody watching that either. So Locke literally getting away with murder. And Longhorn, I don't know how you climb out of this one. Oh, that's a well, good start. I was literally about to say that's a good start. They're able to at least find one. And of course, it's Mickey again. He, I mean, he's been the player to find those first bloods over and over again. I actually think that last round was the first round where a team who got first blood had lost the round for themselves here. But Mickey trying to go on the overextension, find a player, ends up getting found himself. It's going to leave Spartan by himself. One versus three does spot one out. So if he finds the right timing here on the storms, he could make this one versus us. two. He's got a chance still. Oh, and he sees Snipe. He sees both of them. Snipe's going to push into this. Tags him up. Calls for Zane to back up. And that's it. Texas Tech. They are going to take their lead back. Only by one, but a lead's a lead. Four to three. Standoff is as close as you could ask for it. I mean, this is where we saw the turning point over on Raid. Is at this moment. It's where you saw the likes of Texas Tech.
Just take their lead and run with it. And Zane's on five. Once two and four in this map, now seven and four in a great spot here. If he can find streaks, you got to think that there's a good chance that, that is what could put Longhorn Orange away in this series. And he did it in map number two as well. And there it is. First blood once again to Zane. Six in a row, still looking for these streaks and actually getting challenged as well by Spartan over towards the right. Velocity, if you can find that, that'd be great, but don't want to drop another body. Look at the spread that Texas Tech have right now. You're going to be move maneuvering through Hotel. Zane finds another one of the Spartan. They just keep challenging him. Now being down by two, that's just so unfortunate for right now for you. You're throw, you're putting way too much in Zane right now. Seven in a row, he has streaks. Sype's going to put Chung over in a 1v4. Not much you could do here on standoff. Let's see if he can put it, make it a show. I'm sure they spotted him wrapping around. Player number five is going to be watching the lane. Nonetheless, as soon as he pops out, they're going to know shots are out. And Texas Tech on the brink of round number five. I'm sure they try to feed this to him as well but actually i don't think he ends up finding that last kill but nonetheless like you said zane will get that artillery strike and that artillery is huge i mean they should just try to bury them right away with it in all honesty here they can use that streak to do so much on their own offenses deciding on whether or not they want to open up the a site if they want to kind of get full control of courtyard underneath b it's just it, it does so much on this map even just getting the ping alone to know where players are could be so huge so Longhorn Orange, every chance in the world to be able to close this game out here for themselves. I mean, and if Zane finds one more, he's got he gets the cruise missile as well. So fantastic spot for him to be in right now. Wouldn't it be too bad to invest this artillery strike. I mean, if he puts it in the right spot, he's finding all four right now. Yeah, shots are gonna be there. The tag is out. You dip on low, you put this thing down. Let hell rain down on your enemies. So that's exactly what we're going to be seeing. Are they going to fall to it? Oh, no. That's right on top of them, but nobody. Okay, Changover's going to go down. They zoned them all out. One player's left. It's Mickey. Mickey, at least find Storm. He can make this interesting. If he hops back in there, finds another one. Balak ready for it. That's going to be Texas Tech moving on in the winner's bracket, taking standoff six to three. And just like last series in the Search and Destroy, I mean, six to three seems to be where we lay. And as soon as they get that fourth round, it's just the turning point. Yeah, it was it was three three. Uh, Texas Tech are like, you know what? It's time, guys. Let's just let's flip a switch. Let's turn it on. Let's let's bring it right back for themselves there to close the series out. I mean, I it was so funny though, just kind of watching that because, in all honesty, it just looked like in that last round that. The, 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 our artillery comes down from the top and it just kind of felt like Longhorn were like, all right, dude, I'm planting this bomb. It does not matter. We are going down with that artillery. That's exactly what ends up happening to them. It's you either going it... to be the best play or we're all dying. I mean, <laughs> hey, uh, the only man who can run through an artillery in my heart is attached, let's be honest. So, I mean, it's a tough play to make. Texas Tech, I mean, they look, they look really good there to close that game out. There we have it. I mean, it's been a long one. We finally get through it all Five maps you can see above me. Texas Tech are the ones to take it on through. We're going to be cutting to a quick little break so that we can get things set up now and catch up to our bracket. So stay tuned for some more College Cod Summer Open powered by EFUSE because we'll be right back.